Hey guys, it's me, the Nightmare Dash, and today I'm going to be talking about my opinion about Spellbinder from the Batman 2004. So yeah, um, let's get right into this video. And so Spellbinder made his first appearance in the, I believe it's the 10th episode of Season 2 called The Butler Did It. Where a villain known as Spellbinder, who has a third eye, has the power to hypnotize people and and cause them to uh, and also cause them to uh, have like mental images in the head. In a way, it's hard to explain. Basically, it's hard to explain. So, so yeah. Um, so in the episode, um, at first he hypnotizes. Like all the butlers in Gotham, including Alfred, are distilled from the rich people that they work for. And and the first part of the episode, um, about um, Bruce Wayne finds out that Alfred stole uh, a vase from from his cabinet and took it somewhere. And so what happens is uh, later on, uh, Bruce Wayne is visiting his other billionaire friends. And then they find out that their butlers are also, are, are, are stealing as well. And so Batman... Uh, because, and so Batman investigates this and, and, and tracks the van. And then he finds out that Alfred and the other butlers are, are, are under a like hypnosis. And but then what happened was, uh, once the van gets to this like meeting point with Spellbinder, Batman confronts Spellbinder, but then he puts Batman... Uh, like you know, under this like uh, hypnosis, where he, where he, where he thinks that everything, everything's ar everything around him is a monster, until Spellbinder calls. Oh, well, no, actually, no, it wasn't that. What happened was, Batman's utility belt and Batwave kind of, uh, what's the word? Uh, uh, I try to explain, it, but you know, but you know how you hypnotize, right? And there's a way to undo the hypnosis. Oh, oh, so, so, so something like that. So what happened was Batman, Batwave, uh, and uh, uh, what and whatever ca caused the hypnosis to uh, start working on him, uh, like for now. But then later on in the episode, uh, a spellbinder has now hypnotized the uh, 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 the billionaires too, and because uh, and because Bruce Wayne is Batman. Uh, Batman steals this gemstone in Gotham for, uh, for Spellbinder, and Spellbinder almost finds out that Bruce Wayne's Batman until Alfred uses a battle wave in order to, in order to break a, a Batman's like hypnosis. Uh, but then Spellbinder puts him puts him under another one where he thinks that he's actually gone. But then Bruce, sorry, sorry Alfred, convinces him to uh, not fall for it. And then, and the Batman's able to break the hypnosis and stop and stop Spellbinder. And yeah, uh, he doesn't he doesn't appear anymore, I guess. Well, I guess he, I think he appeared in episode rumors in season four, but I, I don't know. But uh, yeah, my overall opinion about Spellbinder is that he's a cool character, and I wish you saw him more on screen. I guess there are other versions of Spellbinder as well, like for example in Batman Beyond. There is a version of him, but he doesn't really use magic. It's just, it's more of a technology, I guess. But, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.